Okay, uh, we're going to quickly go through the evaluation of diagnostic tests. This is on page 61 of the 2009 edition of the USMLE First Aid for the Step 1. Uh, I'm sure a bunch of other people have figured this out, but it's very easy to put this down on a scratch piece of paper, on your marker board when you're in the exam, um, anywhere where you could use it on, on a test because uh, this is very high yield topic. So here we can see the disease is either positive or negative and the test is either positive or negative. Okay, so a true positive means a person who has a positive test result has a disease. It's true, it's positive. Um, and then false positive means that uh, the test was positive but you actually didn't have the disease, so it was a false positive on the test, okay, false negative, same thing. Uh, you got a negative on the test, but you actually had the disease, so it was falsely negative. And then for the last one, you got a true negative result, okay, so the test was negative and the disease was negative, it was a true negative, okay. So if you can set up the algorithm like this every time, it'll be perfect. And there's just going to be two rules to follow. If you can draw this on a little scratch piece of paper, Okay, positives in the upper left, negatives on the, on the outer, and then just true positive, false positive, false negative, true negative. Okay, now we're going to do true when, when we're dividing, okay, in, in the numerator, true is always on top. So true is on top. Truth always prevails. Okay, with my little mnemonic, but true on top works even better. Uh, and then in the denominator, you're going to add the true and the false values. Okay, this is going to make more sense in just one second. The true values being the true positive and the true negative, these are always going to be in the numerator. Okay, you're never going to have to divide by a false positive or a false negative. Uh, divide into a false positive or a false negative. These will always be the denominators, or in the denominator, these will always be the numerator. Okay, so for sensitivity, just draw your algorithm, okay, and put a circle around the left two that are stacked on top of each other. Okay, this is sensitivity. Now our algorithm, or our, uh, our equation is going to be true positive over true positive plus false negative. Okay, because remember our numerator is always the true value that's in our encircled area. Okay, so just circle these two and then the true value that falls within there is the true positive, and you're going to divide it by adding the true positive to the false negative. So it'll be true positive over TP plus FN, and that gives you sensitivity. Okay, so draw the algorithm out, put a circle around the left column, and you'll have your equation for sensitivity. If you can just remember those two rules, true on top, and then add true and the false on the bottom. Okay, now you're just going to put another circle around this side, false positive and true negative, and you're going to have specificity. Okay, so sensitivity is the left two vertical columns, and specificity is the right two on top of each other, the vertical column. So you're going to put false positive and true negative in a circle. Which one's the true value? True negative. Okay, you're going to put that on top. So it's going to be true negative plus, what was the second part of the rule? Add them two together and divide by that. So it'll be true negative plus true negative plus false positive. So true negative over true negative plus false positive is really late so I think I'm messing up my words here but it makes sense okay so now we're gonna do the same thing again for positive predictive value and negative predictive value okay positive predictive value being the probability that a person actually has the disease who got a positive test result okay so that that person got a positive uh, HIV test is he gonna run home and tell his wife right away or is he gonna wait till his doctor confirms with the second test Okay, how, how positive is that test result to be true? How, what is the, the value of that positive result? How, how predictive is that result of you actually having the disease? Okay, wow. Now we're just going to put a circle around the top uh, two squares, okay? And you're going to divide the true value in there, which turns out to be true positive, over true positive plus false positive. Okay, so you're just dealing with all positives in here. Positive predictive value, you're just dealing with both the positive values. So put a circle around the top two. You divide the true one by 
the addition of the true and the, and the false. So true positive over true positive plus false positive. Okay, and for the last one, which is negative predictive value, which is the probability that a person actually is disease free given a negative test result. Okay, I have a negative HIV test. You run home and tell your wife that you actually are HIV negative. How predictive is that? That you're not going to go back after the second test and it's actually going to be positive. Okay, uh, so you're looking at your negative predictive value. This should say negative predictive value. This should have an N here. So that should be negative predictive value. Let's just change that right now. Okay, this is negative predictive value. Okay, what are the odds that this is true? You're going to put in a circle around the bottom two, and you're going to have true over false. So it'll be all the negative. The negative predictive value is just dealing with the negative values. You have true negative over false negative plus true negative. Okay, so again, the truth is in the numerator and the addition of the two that are in the circle are in the denominator. Okay, and you end up having this pretty little um, four-leaf clover, extreme Los Angeles bypass looking thing. Okay, but just remember to draw this little algorithm. Don't be confused when your professor or the USMLE puts the positive values over in this corner, okay, and the negatives are in the close. Just look at the algorithm that you're given read the algorithm that you're given in words and write it out into these four boxes this algorithm here then you can just circle the one that you're looking for if you're looking for sensitivity remember just circle the left two if you're looking for specificity circle the right two positive predictive value circle the top two negative predictive value circle the bottom two and just divide uh, the numerator being the true value which is in the circle over the addition of the two which fall in the circle okay uh, I hope that helps um, you can definitely read up on what they all mean. Um, I do have another video posted, but it is a rambling nonsense, perhaps, um, as this one might be as well. But check it out, draw it, practice it a few times, um, draw up some questions that you can do with this, and see how it works for you. Okay? Good luck.